Hello and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide, where today we're here at Clacton Pier in Clacton-on-Sea. It's been a couple of years since we've last been and there's a few new bits for us to check out today. There is indeed. Last time we were here, they were building their new roller coaster, so we've not experienced that yet. So we'll be, of course, taking you on there. And along with that too, they've got a brand new Jurassic Pier attraction that we're going to be seeing today as well. It's like a walkthrough and also a 4D cinema experience. I'm really looking forward to that. I love anything dinosaur related. Yeah, we'll see what that's like. We just want to say a huge thank you thank to you. Clacton for having us, providing us with risk bands and of course allowing us to take you on with POVs as well. Good week for POVs on the channel which is always fantastic. Now it's free to enter the pier, we've got some great opening hours as well and of course you can pay per attraction and we've got lots of different things to do here. You've got bowling, you've got the mini golf course, you've got loads of rides and also tonight we've got a firework display as well which is free for everyone to enjoy on the end of the pier. Oh I love a good firework display so I'm really looking forward to that as well. We've also picked a great day to come because it's the air show in Clacton today as well. We only saw the red arrows last week but we're going to see them fly over again here uh, which would be really nice. So the pier is located of course right down here on the seafront. You got the giant wheel over there, I'll be sure to have a ride on that and take you along. Yeah, it's going to be a busy day down here but hopefully very atmospheric and yeah the sun's not shining yet but fingers crossed it will be this afternoon. So we're going to make our way inside and that's the good thing about a pier like this. You can either get a wristband for unlimited rides and attractions or you can pay for rides so it keeps it very affordable for people which is great and from what I remember this indoor area is really nice in here. It's got some attractions, a big arcade and some theming. And here we are then inside and yeah you've got the mini golf course over here which is very well themed. We didn't actually get a chance to do that last time so we'll head on there and give it a go. You've got the dodgems upstairs and yeah you've got like the fun card, the cheaper way to play and yeah you can see all the different options just down there. And they've got quite a few different machines and things that you can top up. It's a great indoor space though. Massive arcade in here, and yeah, you use your fun card for the games, I believe, as well. Yeah, some good bits of theming. And there's a look at the Jurassic Pier 4D encounter. Oh, that looks good. Yeah, of course, we're going to be checking that out later on. Massive T Rex just in there. The big gates as well. And yeah, that's the brand new attraction for 2023. Here we go then, made our way to the outdoor section of the pier where it's time to ride the Looping Star. See so yeah, how this opened here in 2021, it's a Pinfari looping coaster. It actually used to be located at Cadona's Amusement Park in Scotland. It used to be on a roof, I remember riding it up there. It's been many years since I've been on this. And yeah, it looks really nice with the uh, paint scheme that they gave it. and yellow. So yeah, we're going to take you all on here with the POV. See how it rides. Looping star. And here we go. We've got a dispatch on the looping star. And yeah, of course, what makes this is the location. As we've been here on the pier, if you look out to the sea, it's quite nice. Oi! Let's see how this rides. It is a Pinfari coaster, so it's probably not going to be the smoothest. But it's great to see quite a large scale coaster on a pier like this. The great views are coming up. Everybody on the beach ready for the air show? And fireworks as well. So, yeah, lots to look forward to today. Nice view of the pier. How's this going to ride? Here we go. Looks like you're going into the water. <laughs> Woo. Oh, really intense loop. Oh, oh it's a shoulder bash of that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> these old school pit parties. Oh, the profiling on there. <laughs> Let's look at the new Walter as well. Grand opening of the Walter today. And into the break run. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Looping star. Well, there we go. On right footage from the Looping star. And yeah, what really made that was the views looking out. I think the fact they've got quite a large coaster on the pier is the location that really makes it. Because uh, you went down that big drop, round the turnaround before the loop. And yeah, you looked like you were going into the water. It was really good, that. Yeah, you did. But it was a bit shaky on it the pier. It was, yeah. <laughs> 
So they are quite rough, these Pinfari uh, roller coasters. It's one of them you just got to brace yourself for it. I think it's because some of the elements are actually um, quite short. Um, like the loop is really small. And along with that, like some of the corners, the banking's not very high. Um, so yeah, they are quite aggressive, I think is the word for it. Uh, but yeah, it was good to get on there. It certainly looks the part. And yeah, some nice views on there as well here on the pier. Now, of course, we just made our way down from Great Yarmouth Pleasure Beach. And make sure you check out our vlogs from Great Yarmouth and also Pleasurewood Hills in Lowestoft if you haven't already seen them. And yeah, continuing on down here on the East Coast with a visit to Clacton. And yeah, we didn't get on the log flume because it's been removed from Great Yarmouth. Oh no, so we've got the blind water on today. <laughs> hey, should we go on? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Yeah, it's nice and quiet. We thought we'll get on the rise early. So it is going to get busy today. Opening hours are good though. Pier's open to like, what, 10 o'clock? Yeah, like, it is, yeah. It's great to see. Fantastic opening hours. Yeah. Let's go have a ride on here. Nice deck chair photo opportunity down here as well, as we can see. It's quite well themed, all this area here with all the rocks. Little bumper boats attraction down here too, waterfall at the back. Yeah, they got some nice little props and bits of theme around. But yeah, let's go have a ride on the log flume. We'll take you on with a POV. Hey, oh, bumpy bumpy, and we're off. On the log flume. Yeah, I do love the views of the rides here. Lots of space to enjoy the red arrows that are going to be flying over later. Yeah, it's the bottom end of the pier. They haven't got loads of rides here. What I have got is a nice collection. It's got a lot of charm to it. Here we go, Charlotte. Oh! Hey, ah! Oh, God, you're right in the back. There she is. <laughs> oh, look at this. A little bit wet from the white water log flume. Yeah, there's quite a few of this model out there. Most recent one we did was at West Midland Safari Park. Yeah, it's the exact same layout as this. So you got the double drop and then the larger finale drop. They really pack the rides in there in this part of the pier, don't they, which is good to see. I really like the indoor section as well. Oh, look at that view. You feel a lot higher up than you actually are looking down there at the sea. Fantastic location. There's a looping star going round again. Big wheel. And let's go. Whoa! Hey! Whoa. <laughs> oh, that was alright. I got wet on the double down. <laughs> Look at Charlotte in the back. Luckily the weather's alright. I'm sure we'll try it's, it's not as nice as it was yesterday, but it's alright at the moment. <laughs> That's the white water log flume. Good fun. Can't go wrong with a good log flume. And yeah, I'm pretty wet actually. Oh, we're seeing some nice blue sky over there now, which is what we want for our afternoon here in Clacton. I, I want to dry out. Look, I'm soaked. <laughs> Look at that. You are quite wet, actually. I though. am soaked. I've got a lot of backsplash on there. <laughs> backsplash. Uh, oh, water ride expert. She's enjoying water rides more though now, which I is good. I would say I'm enjoying the water rides. Gearing up ready for Popeye next week. Oh, no, Universal Popeye. Orlando. Anything but that. Hey, <laughs> excited for it. But uh, that is a nice little flume ride. Like I say, it's just like a travelling model. Oh, uh, they are good though. I like how you've got the double down. And then the main drop as well. So like I say, they have got the new Walsa. It's actually its grand opening today. You know, the park have asked me if I'd like to open it with the park mascot, the seagull oh, as well. that's really nice. Yeah, how good is that? So, yeah, going to uh, open, officially open the Walsa in just a few minutes. Which is going to be really nice before we get on some more rides. Of course, take you on the new Walsa as well. It's been completely refurbished, I believe. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. And here we are then over at the Walsa. We've got Sydney the Seagull just over here as well. Hey, love the mascot. It's a shame he's not called Bert the Seagull. So obviously we call all seagulls Bert normally. We've got Sydney down here. What do you think of that, Charlotte? Oh, Sydney's absolutely great. <laughs> he has got the moves. <laughs> here we go. The game ready to open the Walsas. And here to open it today, please welcome special guest, it's YouTube sensation, B Bible. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. Now, are you all ready? Yeah. <laughs> now, let's count nice and loud. And ten, the pressure's on Sean nine, now. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. 
fantastic. Here we go then on the brand new Walter. Are we going to see you? Is everybody ready? Yes! <laughs> I love this. Three refurbished rides. And we're riding with a palm mask on. This is going to be good. And we're off. Are you okay, Charlotte? Everybody know what you new waltzer with sydney the seagull and yeah it's great that they've got a waltzer back here after two years thank you so much for them uh, inviting you. us down and of course yeah a little surprise today let me cut the ribbon there that was great oh, that was lovely wasn't it was amazing but uh, yeah it's great to have it down here it's a very popular ride it seems and so uh, yeah everyone's loving it let's keep on riding here at clacton pier oh that was brilliant really i enjoyed that moment opening a new ride here at clacton pier and so uh, yeah up next going on to the go-karts just here uh, do you enjoy the go-karts and yeah with this one it's only just been a flat circuit as you can see it's got the raised up areas as well kind of reminds me of the ones that you get in america some of the little amusement parks over there like the fun spot parks in orlando with the raised up areas yeah we'll take you on here now with the pov that's some pier go-karts oh and here we go on the go-karts up to the top take this side i'm taking the lead I was at the front though. <laughs> Not for long, Arthur, what's coming in? Oh, he's past me! Hey. <laughs> I like how he's got a little uh, topper up here. Looks a bit like the Eiffel Tower on top. Whoa. Yes, there's a wooden track on this one all the way round. Normally the tarmac, aren't they? Whoa. And yeah, you do get quite a long cycle on here as well, which is good. Where's Charlotte? Well, that come on inside. Here she is. She's coming. Hey, here she is. Hey. <laughs> Shout out, everybody. 
nice summer atmosphere down here. Looking forward to seeing the red arrows again. Whoa. Yeah, we saw them the other week in Blackpool. Woo. And you can watch that over on the Sandbrook Adventures. We'll just bring you a few highlights from here in Clacton. So I believe it'll be the same show as we saw in Blackpool. Whoa. <laughs> I like these where you go up. Instead of just all on one elevation. How we ended up at the back? Oh wait, I'll let everybody pass. <laughs> oh, it was good out in the new wall, so. Really enjoyed that moment. Was there spray today? So thanks to Clacton. Getting some good laps round now. So yeah, as you can see, they've got a twister here. There's a Miami and also a little junior coaster. So we'll get on those. Of course, I experienced the big wheel. We've got the new Jurassic Pier attraction. And lots more to experience. We're going to get a bit competitive on the mini golf, which will be good as well. Whoa. Let's keep going round. You get a good cycle on here, so I'll see you when we come up. Enjoy your ride down the go kart, Charlotte. I thought that was really good. We got quite a few laps around. I lost count of how many times we went round. It was a good maybe five minute cycle on there. I think that's quite good that you get to have that many laps around. Yeah, so if you are buying individual rides, or of course if you've got your wristband, um, you're getting your money's worth on there, which is great. You're getting that many laps around, which is great. Yeah, definitely. And I do like the setup of this, you know, it's multi-level as well. It does remind me of a lot of the ones you find in American amusement parks. Anyway, just off to the left, we've got another little coaster. Just the two roller coasters to ride here on the pier. Um, yeah, we'll give this a go now. Oh, it's got the Miami just there behind us. Yeah, gonna have a ride on there. I do like the colour scheme for this. Purple and green. And even though it's not actually a wild mouse, it is called the Wild Mouse Coaster. And that's because it's a mouse on the front just there. There he is. <laughs> Let's go and give this a ride. I like how he's got the uh, little sombrero on at the front there too. Let's go on, the Wild Mouse Coaster. <laughs> Love it. And we're off on the wild mouse. Just a bit of radioactive playing in the background. Who's that down there? Watch out, you might get eaten. Yeah. <laughs> Charlotte's in the front with the sombrero. Oh, the sombrero. Hey, I feel the go cars there. Huh? I do love a good seaside amusement park. Four board style park in the UK. New building going in just over there. And yeah, you see the pier extends down to the bottom. Go right down the bottom. There's a Howard Skelter and a little racer armor on the way. Oh, look at that. He's got the moves down there. Moving star. Hey, there's a the lizard. There he is. The sun's coming out. Hey, radio actor. You see him in the little sleeping bag down there, Charlotte. Is he in a sleeping bag? I think he is. Well, yeah, it's a little bed. It's quite funny. Oh, okay. hey. Go oh, yes, let's I'm do going. this. We're going again. Very enthusiastic member of staff, that's what we like to see. Oh, there we go. Sharp break in there. Yeah, big lizard. <laughs> yeah, I do just like the atmosphere coming to the seaside, especially when the weather's nice. We've done well these past few days, the weather as well, which has been very nice. Big cactus. I do love a cactus. You know, they're my favourite plants. You love cactus. I want one in the garden, really. I have to get one. There's an upside down house over there, just there as well. And you've actually got a small little amusement park just out the front of here as well, which is great. Go so definitely check that out. Yeah, lots to see around here in Clacton, which is fantastic. Well, there's a lot here on the east coast of England, as you've seen over the past kind of few days on the channel, which is brilliant to oh, see. Oh yeah, hey, that'd be good. Tim Fanny! <laughs> there he is. I think we go round for a third lap, but we won't take you round again. I think you know the layout by now. Hey! <laughs> Look at that. Nice ride there on the little junior coaster, the Wild Mouse. And yeah, you get three laps on there as well, which is good. Oh, the member of staff was great on there. Yeah, all the moves as well. Bit of Desposito. And we saw the parachutes as well. Oh, they was really good to see. Great to see those. Gonna take you all on the Miami just here now. Hey, here we go. On the Miami. Oh, good position with this one with a fantastic view. Looking out over the pier. Whoa. 
Joel's down there getting some off-road shots. Woo! Look forward to getting back on that big wheel soon, actually, as well. Get some views up there. Be good to be up there when the red arrows come past, wouldn't it? Well, I think we'll probably stand on the end of the pier down here and get the views of that. Whee! <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'm really warm. Should have put me shorts on again today. I've had them on the past two days, but it certainly might rain today, but I'm glad it hasn't because the weather is pretty good now. Quite nice. Loads of crowds gathered over there as well. On the beach, ready for the air show. It's a good day with the air show and the fireworks down here. Woo! Nice off-ride shots there by Charlotte. Hey! <laughs> oh, the whole of the top now. Look at that view. So many rides packed in on here which I do like, how close everything is down here at the front. And then if it rains, of course, you've got that indoor area, which is fantastic. That's right there over on the Miami, and ooh la la, showing on the twist that you'll see now. Another fun fair classic down here at Clacton Pier. And here we go. On the twist that you'll see again, Charlotte. He's going to get some off-road shots. Hey. Oh, oh, shit. Here we go. Are you ready? I do like all the announcements. <laughs> oh, straight in with it nice and fast. Round again. Of course, here on Theme Park Worldwide, we're heading over to Florida next week. We're going to be starting up at Universal, then a cruise with a coaster on, and then Walt Disney World. So, yeah, loads of vlogs coming up from Orlando, Florida. <laughs> it's a fast one, this. Really fast. Woo! Yeah, Charlotte's not a huge fan of the fast, intense flat rides. <laughs> Some on and off ride footage there from the Twister and yeah back in the indoor area now look at this arcade yeah so you can get the cards and then you tap them on all the different games to play huge indoor area and it's great when the weather isn't good as well because people can come in here and play on the games yeah it's ideal like loads of games and of course you've got the dodge rooms upstairs in here as well Jurassic Pier that we're going to be checking out but I think we're going to have an ice cream now Oh, look at these. Yeah, £3.95 for the Sundays. I do like how the waffle has actually got Clacton Piers logo on there as well. I've gone for the Milky Bar one. And what I you got here? I've got the bubblegum one. I love these. They're so nice. <laughs> it's a nice little toast, that, isn't it? There you go. Fantastic. I took in and enjoy these. Oh, that was absolutely divine. I do love a nice ice cream sundae. And yeah, it's almost two o'clock. And that means it's time for the first part of the air show. So yeah, it's the memorial flight first. So we're gonna get a little bit of footage of that from down here on the pier and show you in. Of course, we've got the red arrows coming up later. So I'll get a few shots of those over Clacton. Hey, here he comes over the pier. Look at that. Great view from down here on the pier as well. Nice and close to the aircraft. This annual event down here in Clacton. Oh, here we go, great view. More aircraft coming in just here. Very impressive to see. People have got the Jolly Roger Arena down here at the bottom of the pier. And yeah, they've got a little exhibition going on at the moment, celebrating 150 years of Clacton Entertainment. So yeah, it's free entry, so I thought we'll have a little look inside. Well, it's quite interesting. Yeah, you've got some old signs in here. This dummy just over here too. From 1922, used to appear in some of the shows here on the pier. Yeah, it's quite interesting to see. Some old photographs and newspaper clippings. Lots of old photos and information on display in here as well. And yeah, this is just here for summer. So yeah, it's quite unique to see it. A little bit about the Butlins camp that used to be here in Clacton as well. And yeah, you can also see some concept art here for what they'd like to do in the future. Not the shadow of my head. <laughs> yeah, there's a look at how they'd like the building to look in the future just here. Yeah, full refurbishment, which would be good to see of the Jolly Roger building. I'm back outside then now, and yeah, it's nice and busy down here at the end of the pier for the air show as well. Yeah, great to see. Loads of space down here for future expansion with rides and attractions as well for Clacton Pier, which would be great to see. 
Yeah, yeah shortly we're going to get a bit competitive, aren't we, Charlotte? Right, we're going to have a game of adventure golf. Hey, 18 holes. Hey. Win. Try my best. It's located inside as well. This is which we're is good. Mini golf. I haven't done this one before either, so. Hey, it. we're going to go and check that out. Yeah, it's coming up next. And as we're making our way down to the indoor area, yeah, you've got the Halder Scouser here. So then there's quite a lot of families to do on here, which is good to see. And yeah, you've got the little Dumbo, the flying elephant ride over there, and Radiator Springs, yeah, the little Racerama ride there just behind it too. Right next door to those go karts that we went on earlier, you've got the mini Ferris wheel there too. Of course, we're going to head on the big one shortly, just outside. Tell you what though, the Walsh are a very popular addition down here. Oh, it was a great ride up here, really, really enjoyed that. Yeah, it's another small little ride for the kids over there too. Now the golf course is called School Point, hence why we've got the school there with the lights here and the waterfall. Yeah, I do like a good adventure golf course, not done one for a while. And this is very well themed, it's nice. You go upstairs as well by the looks of it. I think it does over at the back there. Yeah, this is great, you kind of got like the big tree house up there. And yeah, let's go, 18 holes. We'll kind of rotate around filming each other throughout this one. Let's see who's going to win. Here we go then, hole number one, it's a par two this one. Let's see how we get on this day. I'm going for a hole in one, why not? Oh, 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 oh so close. Oh. Is it going to be a par two? It's a par two. Well, Charlotte also got par two on hole number one. And here we're here on hole two now. I've just got three on this one. Let's see how Charlotte does. It's quite dark actually, it's really to see the hole down here. Oh! Thought that was going to be a hole in one. It's not good. <laughs> Looks a bit brighter on camera, but yeah, you could do with another light shining down on that. Whoa, 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 what was all that then? No, it was right in the corner. I can't get it. Yeah, you're allowed to move about that much, like two inches. Oh, cheating already, Charlotte is. Oh. Serves you right now. I hope you don't get it in. <laughs> a mini golf. Oh, that serves you right, that. Gonna be a four for Charlotte, I reckon. There it goes. So this hole's quite a hard one, because you need to decide whether you're gonna go through the middle or around the side like Sean's done. If you end up going through the middle, sometimes you can end up hitting the rocks. <laughs> Is it gonna be a two? It's a two! It's a two. <laughs> well, Charlotte got four. They're on hole number three and we're on hole four now. You've got to get enough momentum to get it up here. Yeah, I've just got five on this, not very good. Oh, that's two. You don't have to get it in either of them holes if you don't want. Got this little berm down here. It's nicely themed in here though, which is good. The sound of the waterfall adds to it. Oh, what was that, three? That was good going, that. Well done. <laughs> Hole number five. Now this is quite a hard one because this hole is on an angle. Really wonky. It is. Oh, 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 oh that was momentum. so close. That would have been it. Can we make it a two? It's going to do, oh, that's the thing because it's on an angle, it's really hard to get it. Quite challenging this one. Oh. It's not enough momentum. Too much, it's gonna go, it's gonna go too far. Oh! It's gonna be five. It's it's gonna be five. five the cut it is the cutoff on this one. Oh, five. Terrible. Well, I thought we were gonna be going upstairs. We've actually come outside just here now for hole number six. Charlotte also got five on that one just as well. And oh, it's a yes. one! Hey. Yes. I just got a three on this one. Yes! <laughs> Everyone on the beach kind of looking over at Charlotte there. Yes. Hey, we've got the lighthouse and there's the big wheel that we're going to be going on after this as well. Well done, Charlotte. First hole in one of the day for us here at Clacton Pier. <laughs> hole number seven then now. Can Sean get a hole in one like me? I'm going to try and bounce it off that bowler. Not like that, but still. Oh, uh, nowhere near. Oh, nowhere one, near. Most of these are part twos, aren't they? He tried. Is he going to be a part two? Oh. oh! Some of these are on a real slant. 
That's my excuse. Anyway. It is Sean's excuse that. Oh! I'm going to go for a different technique. And I'm going to go up the top. That's it. It's going to be a five. What are you playing at? Yes. Not playing good here. Well, hole number eight went really well for me. I just got a hole in one over on here, which I'm pleased about. Hey, and here comes Charlotte. Oh, getting lined up there nicely. <laughs> Charlotte's definitely winning though still. But I don't know, if she has a few bad plays, it could go anyway still. That's what I'm hoping for. Another aircraft flying over I can hear as well. Here are the engines. Oh, that's two. If this get a five for Charlotte, this would be fantastic for me. So I'll redeem myself a bit. That's it. Oh, there we go. Another aircraft. Distracted. Distracted. <laughs> oh. Oh, 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 that's no, that's no, your no. shot. That, that was the aircraft ball. You, you touched the ball. No, so. It was the aircraft. Oh, what's that? Three. No. That's it. Number four now. No, that oh, it does. It counts. There we go. That's it. Yeah, it's going to be a five for Charlotte. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, it was not good that one, but I was distracted by the aircraft. Oh, oh, that was close. That was. Yeah, now that I got a five on that one, game's back in action. And oh, it's getting tense. Well, Charlotte got a two on the last one there. And yeah, I just got a three on this one. Oh, I thought you were getting it then, Charlotte. I thought you were, oh, you're all right there, careful. Looking over the course. This could be a two, the pressure's on for Charlotte now. It's an intense game. Oh, nowhere near, it should be a three no, though. No, I do that, I end up not getting it where I want to go. <laughs> hey. It's a nice course, I do like how it. it's a mix between the inside air and the outside. I guess if it was raining, you don't have to play the outside bit if you didn't want to. But, oh, scorecard's going. Oh, it's gone. Let's right, carry on onto uh, hole number 11 just over here. So Sean's got to decide now which one of these holes he wants to go into. Oh, oh. Down the back, there's a trench. Oh, we did. I didn't even see that Neither one. I. I thought it was one of them where if you don't get it in one of them. It three, will just roll back. It's going to move it out a little bit, that's around here. Oh, that's too far. <laughs> oh, it's tense. Oh. It should be a three, though. It should be. That's oh, a it's a three. Oh, look at him go. Up there, all the smoke coming out of the back. I like how these aircraft keep doing all these maneuvers when Charlotte's playing. <laughs> that's what I like. Back inside then now, and Charlotte got a five. Well, that means... It's tense now, so we're both neck and neck on oh, 34. What are we? Hole number 12. It's still yeah. anyone's game then here. We still go upstairs. I oh, do we? Oh, I tell you what, it's a really nice course. I'm enjoying playing this. I just got a two on this one. Charlotte's up next. There you got the Dodgems up there. And also there's a restaurant underneath it. Great indoor space. And there's a big play area actually for the kids down there at the bottom. That's one. Is it going to be a two? Oh, it looks good. Oh, just clip the side of the hole there. I'm sorry, but I'm sorry, you can't blame the aircraft now. We're back inside. Still Should be a three. And it's a three. And yeah, as we make our way up the spiral staircase now. If you've watched the channel for a while, you'll know that I love indoor entertainment centres like this. I think here in the UK, well, they are brilliant additions to parks. And yeah, this is lovely in here. Very nice to come and do the golf this time. And yeah, it's beautifully themed up here. Look at this. Lots of landscaping. Well, lucky for some, hole 13. Is it going to be lucky for Sean? Oh, oh. 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 Not lucky at all. Oh. Is it going to be a two? Oh, it's a two. Well, Charlotte got a two just over there and run hole number 14 which is a par two this is quite a low par for this because the hole is actually just behind that boulder there and as you can see it's on a slope on both sides and yeah i've just managed to get this in three and charlotte's up oh around the edge there 
What was that? I mean, you're on the other side now. Some nice lighting just up here. Yeah, it was just the one hole downstairs could have done with a bit more lighting. Oh! Get your foot off the floor. <laughs> Are you going to match my three? But yeah, we're going to do some more adventure golf this winter over on the Sandbrook Adventures. Obviously, we thought, we, oh, way too much, that. I thought, obviously, we'd tie this in with us being here at the pier on Theme Park Worldwide. But uh, yeah, on the Sandbrook Adventures, we're going to do a lot more mini golfs and that sort of thing, activities. <laughs> so make sure you head over to our second channel. This is four. If you don't get this, we're cutting it off at five. And it's in. That was, that was pretty good, that, Charlotte. Only a few holes left now. Here we go. There's the hole. How's he going to do? Oh, 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 that was so close. I was for a one there. Might be a two though. We'll just seal the deal on. Oh, oh! Nice one, look at that. Give me a three, I think. That's a three locked in. Oh, he's getting tense now. Well, Charlotte got a four over on the previous hole. And I've just got a two here on hole 16. A couple of holes left after this one. Nice little windmill. That, I, didn't I don't count that. You no. didn't touch the ball. You're all right. She swung for it and didn't hit it. I'm not that mean. No. But I do count that. <laughs> oh, hang on. You might be saved. There is one on that side. No, it's coming back. That's it. you got to let it come back. Oh, no. That's two. There was one point in it again as well, just. You're going too too fast here, I think. You might just get saved. That's it, you're in. Coming out over here. Loads of arcade machines down here. And yeah, they gave us some credits so we can check out a few of the games this afternoon, show you what they're like. That's another one. You were trying to have a quick one there whilst I was filming. Oh, is it a five? Oh, let's see. It's all to play for still though. It's close as we enter the last couple of holes. Making our way downstairs again now. The back of the big skull. Nice water feature. I do like how it's got this waterfall over here. It's very well themed. Very good course. This hole looks quite hard because look at all these humps in the middle and the holes all the way back here. Let's see how he gets on. Oh, he's coming. Oh, oh. Oh! I love how that alarm went off as well. Oh, the bell went off as well. Oh, that's put me in a good place now. Oh, well, Charlotte got a five there on number 17. Final hole now, number 18. Let's see what Charlotte's got. I've just got a two on this one. Charlotte's not happy. Poor performance, poor play today from Charlotte. I've blown the aircraft. <laughs> oh, oh, way too heavy on that there. Way too heavy. It's on a mound just here, you see. I do love playing a veggie golf. It's all friendly competition. Oh, she's, what's she doing now? She's swinging it everywhere. Oh my God, she can't even hit the ball. Can't blame that on the aircraft. Oh, and it's going down to the cafe. It's off to the cafe. <laughs> That's it. There we go. Oh, where's she going? You can pick it up from over there. Oh, I can't believe it. One last attempt at getting it in. That's it. It's going to be a five from Charlotte. Poor performance there. And just before we total on the final score, which I think I'm going to avoid, we've got hole number 19, which is the prize one. Yeah, you can win prize on this one. I think it takes you all. No win for me today. Well, here we go. It's the end of the game. We didn't win any prizes there. But Charlotte, who's the winner of today's goal? So, with 49 points, it's Sean. Hey! I got 62, I was way off. To be honest though, it was really close until the last kind of five holes. And there. I just lost it because of the aircraft. <laughs> oh, I'm just blaming the aircraft, the outdoor section. Overall though, it's a nice course, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I really enjoyed that, it was good fun. I would have liked a few more maybe moving parts and obstacles around. I think that would add to it even more. Uh, however, it's a nice course. I like all the landscaping and the fact it goes outside as well. Look at the crowds. It is pumping out here at Clacton. Look at this. Fantastic. Oh, the shots behind the side. And not forgetting, we've still got the fireworks spectacular tonight as well to enjoy. You can see it down there, 24th of August. Yeah, there's a couple more left in the calendar. But yeah, every year throughout summer, they have the free fireworks shows down there on the pier. And we're making our way now up here onto the big wheel to get some awesome views. And yeah, it's included in the wristband. Well, you can just pay to go on the wheel if you'd like to as well. And here we go, headed up above Clacton Pier. Yeah, on the big wheel. And yeah, I've just heard some more aircraft as well. 
Oh, oh look at the crowds now, Charlotte. Oh, look at the beach down there. It is packed. Everybody coming out, of course. About an hour to go until the Red Arrows. Oh, there they come. Yeah, now it's going to Red Arrows. Got some low cloud today. I don't know how much we're going to see of them, but we did get the full display in Blackpool just a couple of weeks ago on the Sandbrook Adventures. There's a nice aerial view. Looking at the pier just over there. Yeah, it's really nice. Looks great with Looping Star there. I do love the atmosphere of an amusement park on a pier. Wow, look at the crowds down here. Really nice. Yeah, you've got a lot of arcades and things down here. And you've also got another small amusement park, the Pavilion Fun Park, you can see over here. More aircrafts coming past as well. A little bit worried about the Red Arrow's weather conditions today. We'll see what happens. I mean, lucky for us, we did see them a couple of weeks ago, but fingers crossed for everyone who's come down here today, gonna get to see a full show. It's lovely on the beach. It's not really very sunny today, but you know what? It's not cold. And there's the mini golf where I won. Down the bottom. <laughs> and that's right there on the big wheel. And the good thing is, you get a few cycles round on there, which is great too. We're gonna make our way now back inside. Of course, you've got that Dodgems that's located um, just above where the mini golf was and all around that area. So we're gonna give that a go now. And here we are back inside after our lovely ride there on the big wheel. Come and experience the Dockside Dodgems. I like how they're not just called the Dodgems or the bumper cars. They've got a nice theme name. And here they are. Great utilizing space because I think it's the kitchen underneath for the restaurant. And there, here's the ride itself. Yeah, let's go on. straight into it you get a great long cycle on these and the fast as well it's one of those where there's no one way round rule or anything like that anything goes pretty much and the fast let's get number 11 oh oh <laughs> that was a bump that was <laughs> anything goes anything goes oh oh he got me great line on this one a fantastic condition these oh it utilizes the space really good in here. Especially the weather is a bit more. Charlotte's coming in behind me here, which I don't like. I'm gonna try and get past her here. There she is. Oh, hey! <laughs> See you later. <laughs> I really enjoyed the adventure golf actually. I thought that was good fun. I've always liked my mini golf. Oh. <laughs> there she is. Oh, you got good speed on it now. Hey! <laughs> Whoa! Quite a nice circuit on here as well. Whoa. You get a ah! <laughs> Everyone, go, go for that lady there. That's a... <laughs> here we go. I've got some help now from this kid. <laughs> Brilliant. A bump, bumpy, bumpy, hey! <laughs> Woo! And that's it. That was good. That wasn't actually the end of the cycle, round. They just stopped it so that girl could get off because she didn't like it. We went for another like two minutes. Oh my god, they were so vicious. <laughs> Great <laughs> dodgems, they are. Nice and fast as well. Yeah, the ones, everyone was just covering it with Oh, it was good fun. Right, we're going to check out some of the arcade machines down here, aren't we now? Yeah, normally we wouldn't play the games that much, but they've been kind enough to uh, give us the cards, which have got some uh, credits on for the games. Yeah, I'll show you what there is down there. Right then, we're starting off on the NBA hoops just over here. And yeah, with this one, I actually move side to side as well. A lot of the time, they just stay in that same place, don't they? Come on, Charlotte. Look at this, she is going for it. The games can be good fun. A lot of the time, we just don't have the time to play them. Got the old grabber machine every so often. 26 seconds left, she's going for it. Score is 12 down there. Hey! 
They're not a massive choice of games. They've got some bowling off to the right as well. We'll have a look in there. Oh, it was good fun, that was. And yeah, it's a great space in here. You've got full, full 10 pin bowling over there as well. It really is a super arcade. It is massive. And yeah, you can collect the tickets. You've got loads of prizes. Look at the size of it in here. It is humongous. Hey. And she's off on the coconut shine. Yeah, you just tap them on there and you're off. Harder. <laughs> you only got a fantastic selection of games in there, haven't they? Oh, everyone was absolutely loving it, and there's just a wide variety of people, which is great. Yeah, it's one of the biggest arcades I've seen kind of outside of Blackpool, really. Yeah, like, it's the massive. Blackpool arcades are huge. Yeah, but uh, no, it's really good in there, very impressive. We also had to go at Air Hockey, and Charlotte won there. Oh, yes, I always win. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, anyway, we're down here now at the end of Clapton Pier, because in just a few moments, we're going to be seeing the Red Arrows pass overhead just here. We're only going to get a few little shots in this vlog, because over on the Sandbrook Adventures a couple of weeks ago, we filmed the full show over in Blackpool. Pool. It was a really nice clear day for it, wasn't oh, it? Oh, it was absolutely brilliant. The sun was shining. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to get the full show or not today with the uh, cloud. We'll get a little bit of footage no matter what. And here they come. The Red Arrows. Hey. Wow. Oh, that's a nice close view. Beautiful. Wow, look at that. Now doing the move called the tornado. That's cool, that. That is amazing to see. Yeah, even though it's cloudy, we're seeing lows here today in Clacton. Wow, that's an even better view than I got in Blackpool. Some footage there from the absolutely spectacular Red Arrows. Brilliant to see again, weren't they? Oh, they put on an absolutely fantastic display. I always love seeing the Red Arrows. It's a shame that the rain came in there at the end, so I'd absolutely thrown it down. But luckily, you've got this big indoor area, and uh, yeah, we're going to have some food, aren't we? Oh, yeah. I'm really hungry now. Yeah, we've got a pizza coming out in a few other bits, so we'll show you what we've got. Oh, look at that delicious margarita pizza. See, so, yeah, we've got the pizza, two lots of fries, some mozzarella sticks onion rings and two J2Os and yeah 24 pounds for all that so not too bad at all but yeah here we go going to tuck in for a lovely pizza and soon we've got the uh, new Jurassic Pier attraction to enjoy oh well the food was really nice I definitely recommend that little restaurant did you enjoy yours Charlotte that was absolutely lovely I am stuck oh it's starting to rain again out here now and as we mentioned earlier, originally we're going to be visiting the Pavilion Fun Park, which is located right next door over here. And uh, yeah, that's a $12.99, pay one price, and uh, yeah, you can ride as much as you like. They've actually got two coasters there now, and I was hoping to do a little vlog, and that was going to come up tomorrow. We have the two coasters that we wanted to ride are unfortunately closed because of the rains. So yeah, it's a shame about that. And obviously, it's not worth getting the $12.99 wristband when the two coaster creds that we wanted uh, are closed. Yeah, it's like a mini drop tower, some other flat rides, a pirate ship over there, and a few other a little bit but yeah we're hoping to do a mini vlog there but sadly uh, because of the rain not going to be possible to do that one today but we have got Jurassic Pier coming up shortly the new attraction of course at Clacton Pier right then so we've made our way back inside now we're about to experience Jurassic Pier the 4D encounter and yeah this is new for 2023 look at the huge animatronic dinosaur that they've got up here as well so yeah if you remember from our last vlog a couple of years ago used to be a small aquarium in here and yeah, of course, we've completely changed it up now and put in this attraction, so we're going to see what it's like. As we make our way to the inside of the attraction, as you can see, they've got this lovely mural that's actually hand-painted on the wall as well. Look at that with the pier. That looks fantastic. And you've got the little entrance area just over here. And yeah, another view. That very impressive animatronic that there is just over here. Look at that. He's massive. Ooh, look at this theming here. This is the fossil room. And yeah, it's got smell pods in here as well. Oh, this is very impressive. It was the last of the Tyrannosaurus and went extinct with the rest of the dinosaurs during the end of Cretaceous mass extinction. I like all the books up there as well. We've got the door. It's like a screen. Something's going to happen up there, I think. Its legs were long and muscular. So we've just been told that we're about to meet Hello. the boss. I'm Professor King. Director of the Paleontology Research Program here at the Jurassic Pier Discovery Center. I do hope you enjoy exploring our future past. It is more traditional dinosaur experience. Oh, this is really cool. So let's have a little pre-show. Oh, look at this. Wow. Oh, animatronics in here. Oh, loads of theming. That's incredible. 
I like how they've got the little boards here as well with lots of facts and information on. And it's the smells in here as well, isn't it? It smells so good in here. How impressive is this? Oh, look at the volcano as well. That is awesome. Wow, and yeah, all the ambience is great in here with all the smoke. Massive. Yeah, it's great. Brilliant photo opportunity as well. Oh, I wasn't expecting it to be like this in here. What a transformation. Love the look of that volcano. Oh, wow. This is incredible in here. Look at the size of it. So you kind of watch that pre-show, then you've got your time to walk around here, appreciate the animatronics, take your photos. Yeah, you've got this whole kind of top area. Yeah, this is amazing in here. I like how they've got like all the electric fences and everything as well. Even got the lights flickering up there, which is great. Wow, look at that. That is phenomenal. They've done a really good job in here. I wasn't expecting it at all. When I heard they were putting this in, I thought it was more going to be just a 4D cinema. I didn't realise it was going to be as much as there is in here. The smells really make it. High voltage area. Wow. That is brilliant. I'm going to hand you each a pair of special 4D Thank glasses you. to air for our journey. So, when you guys are ready, would you like to take out the road with your red dots for me, please? Thank you. Lovely, thank you. Done a really good job of it. If you just like to stop right there, thank you. I like this as well. <laughs> All the details on there. Attention, adventurers! It will soon be time to board your very own dinosaur safari. Before we get started, we're just going to go through a couple of safety rules to make sure you guys have an awesome time. We do go like to come through here. Wow, this is phenomenal beaming in here. Look at this! Oh, fantastic, look at this. So you can see. So we've got our 3D glasses on there. Oh, <laughs> hey Charlotte, hey. <laughs> Yeah, the seats move, no seat belts or restraints or anything like that. And then you go side to side. It's a nicely themed room. Oh! Huh? Cool lighting effects in here as well. You see a bit more with the seats now. Charlotte. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh, he's got leg ticklers. Listen. Why did I ever go on vacation? Oh, I tell you what, that was good. The movie in there, lots of great sound as well, which was fantastic. The movement on those seats was crazy. I really enjoyed that. Yeah, that was great. Yeah. Like, we'll talk more about it when we get out. It's like show the exit corridor coming down here as well. Brilliant. I am really impressed with that attraction. I didn't really know when they said they were building that, what to expect. And it was fantastic, wasn't that it? That was absolutely brilliant. The theme in it in there was so good and the actual 4D film was brilliant. The seats moved so much. Yeah, I thought it was just going to be a very simple 4D cinema with maybe one pre-show room before and uh, maybe with a screen and some bits of theme in. But no, it was so much more than that. A full walkthrough uh, and you can take as long as you want in there as well, kind of looking at it all, which is great. And then of course, yeah, into the main cinema room itself uh, for the movie, which was about, what, seven or eight minutes? Yeah, I'd say so, but huge well done to the team for that because it's brilliant. Yeah, it's really good. It's not the sort of attraction that you'd expect um, from a pier, you know, and that's the thing. It is an amusement park, but what they've done there is like theme park worthy. It Definitely. was great. They've done an amazing job. Really enjoyed that, and we've just met some of the team behind it, and they've got some really exciting plans for here in the future to go more down that themed route, which is really promising to see. And uh, yeah, I definitely recommend that attraction. Uh, it was brilliant, but so yeah, I'm just going to get a bit of footage now of the pier at night, and shortly we've got the finale fireworks.
Always love the lighting on amusement parks. And yeah, look at Lubin star there all lit up. The camera doesn't do it justice. Walter has been busy all day. Fantastic. The lighting package looks really good on there as well. And yeah, they were telling me earlier, there's a big new sign coming to go at the top there as well. Which is good to see. Officially opened by Theme Park Worldwide. I love it. So we're making our way now down to the end of Clacton Pier for the climax of the day, of course, which is going to be the firework display. And yeah, looking forward to that. Let's go down there and check it out. Oh, you've got to watch out for this, as you can get wet if it comes all the way over. Like that. Hey! <laughs> as children, we often have a fascination with the sky, the stars, and what it's like to soar amongst the birds. We spend hours staring into the sky, watching clouds, spotting shapes, and wondering what it's really like up there. purposes around five years old. show and yeah it was all aviation themed with it being the air show today and that was great it was a 15 minute show that was really good there were some fantastic fireworks in there some really big ones we've got a really good day down here today clacton pier is a fantastic family attraction and there's so much more here than just the rides in fact we've done the rides but that hasn't been the main highlight of the day really we have had such a good day here today playing the games doing the golf doing the rides it's been brilliant it's really nice here i love this indoor section the most and of course the new jurassic pier was my highlight from oh, today that's absolutely brilliant i did not expect it to be like that if you like themed immersive experiences i would definitely recommend that and of course the golf was good fun doing that i wanted to do that a couple of years ago so i'm glad we got it in today uh, we got the new looping star coaster and it was a little bit rough <laughs> Uh, but it looks the part, and of course cutting the ribbon on the wall so it's a little surprise oh, today. Right. It's been great, it really has. Thank you so much to Clacton for having oh, us today. Thank you so much, your hospitality has been fantastic. And they even gave us a few little uh, treats to take home as well. Look at this, so I've got a nice book about the history of the pier. Along with that, there's actually a piece of the pier here, here as well. It's over 150 years old, and also a wheel from one of the coasters here, the little kiddie coaster we oh, went on. Oh, that's lovely, thank you so much. Really kind of them. But uh, anyway, coming up next here on Theme Park Worldwide, we're making our way down to South End on Sea to Adventure Island. We've not been there yet this year. It's coming towards the end of summer. We'll all head to Adventure Island and check that out in the final vlog for our little trip to the east coast of England. We're here from Clacton on Sea. That leaves us with one final thing to say. Get out there and keep on riding. See you in the tomorrow's video.